So my name is Mito Kronuma, and I belong to the Shizuoka branch of the Gideon Association. And so as uh, it was announced, and I want you to uh, look at the, the Gideon's, this is a um, report. ご存知の通り、ギデオンは世界20カ国で人々をイエス・キリストの救いに導くことをただ一つの目的として聖書を贈呈しております200ですか20ですか200ですねはい。OK and the Gideon Association、uh, is doing the ministry on the 200 different Countries, and then only one purpose is that for the people to be brought to Christ by、uh, outreach. And in Japan, there's a, there are 170 branches and the groups that、uh, belong to Gideon, and Shizuoka is one of them. So, in the Shizuoka, in the c i t y 贈呈される1年間に贈呈される聖書の数は約6500そう、so、静岡ブランチは、every year、average about 6500 Bibles that we are giving them away。主に中学生、高校生、そして大学生に贈呈をしております。And、uh, so mainly that we are giving to the、uh, junior high school student. And high school student and sometimes college student, we are going there and then to present them. そしてその聖書が生ける御言葉によって人々をイエス・キリストの救いに導くことが実現できるように皆様にお祈りをいただきたいと思います。And I'm、uh, sincerely、uh, desiring for your prayer so that the us Giving out, hand out the Bibles and present them, and、uh, those will be a cause for them to come to Christ, and that's what we want you to pray for. So, in this Shizuoka, the 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 Shizuoka, And as I mentioned,、uh, Shizuoka branch、uh, gives out the 6,500 Bibles every year, average. And then about the 32 churches in Shizuoka, the inner branch area, and、uh, will the, make a donation for making a Bibles, printing the, that, that many Bibles. And so that, that's how we、uh, give, are able to give Bibles to the students. なんと昨年は32の教会で総額80万の献金をいただきました。And the last year that we received the 800,000 yen, about 800,000 yen、uh, total offering from the 32 different churches in Shizuoka. さて、それがあらお大まかなご報告でございます。And so that's my brief、uh, update、uh, report from the Gideons. 贈呈される聖書の一つがこう,こういう聖書です。So I have one of those that,、uh, Bible that we give away in my hand. さて、えー、お時間をいただきましたので、少し長くなるかもしれませんが、なるべく短くお話をさせていただきます。And so that I、uh, had a chance that to be able to share with you so that for as Well, for possibly, the short as possible, that I would like to share with you. And yesterday, the, the, maybe the many of you know that、uh, it was comforting the, I guess, the dead souls by, in Okinawa the, for Memorial Day from the war. 73年前まで73年前に終わりました太平洋戦争、最後の激戦地の戦争が終結した,終結した日です。And that's the day, yesterday was a, a Memorial Day, the last、uh, 
I guess, a battle that has finished in Okinawa. Uh, Okinawa and that was a really, um, 73 years ago that happened, and then the, that was the last day of the battle. And then that was back in a, like a World War II. But in Okinawa, there was some the saying left. Okay, the word says chigu. Okay. Which means that this is like a, the pain, the um, very uh, hard, uh, but very, very painful. That it's like a, your guts is twisted and trying to pull away that much pain that this word describes. And then, so this word means that uh, also that has a meaning that somebody else's pain, that you will receive somebody else's pain and then consider as your own pain. So that the one word probably come close is a compassion. And uh, up to the, about the 15 years ago that I was working at the children's facility. And then so that there are the many, many uh, children were placed in that facility and they came from the child abuse uh, abusive, very abusive uh, situation. So I was living there and then uh, uh, sharing the time and, uh, with them and then uh, trying to teach them and instruct them and lead them. And then whatever I teach and then whatever, uh, those things that they don't do. So about for 20 years I was there to work with them, uh, work with the children. But that years, those years really made me think, thought. And one day the, for second grader, the boy, came up and then he said, I want to go to school, he said. And my legs hurting. So he said, and then, so I said, uh, okay, if you have that much pain, and then we need to go to the doctor. So let's go to the doctor to, you know, let him see how your leg's doing. So there's a doctor, a clinic that the art facility is having a working with, so that I took him to there. And and then, so the doctor said, well, that I can see, and that there's nothing wrong with the leg itself, but if you're saying that you have a pain, maybe that you don't have to go to school today. And then, so we came back to uh, the home together. And then, so we and so the, the, that day that I felt him, I mean, felt for him, so that he may be lonely, that he doesn't go to school, he doesn't have a, a, uh, friends with him, so that I was reading uh, some books and then uh, spend time together all day. And then, so following day, and then I asked him, so how's your leg doing? Is it still painful? And then he said, well, I have a little pain, but I can go to school. So I'll go. So he went. 
そして、また1週間後に新しい1年生が参りました。and then, so a week later, that incident, and then the new uh, first grader came in. So, and then, so that when the first grader, new first grader came in and then did the same thing, and then, so this second grader boy came to that little boy, and then, so he was trying to explain to him. And then he was saying to him, that little boy, he said, maybe you don't like him first, but you need to listen to him. And then, so that's the time that I really realized that instead of me teaching and instructing them, and then, but we need to give it to them. That's more important than uh, teaching them. And, and then I was really shocked at that time. So, and then, so just like this uh, children, these children that I'm receiving from God. And then God is so compassionate and then so loving to us. And then for maybe that Jesus didn't have to go to the cross for that for that much agony and then pain, but God knew about us, that's why He did send Jesus to us and then let Him go through that pain. And then, so at that moment, I really came to a realization that. Even though that I'm not really the perfect or the big person, the great person, but the God is really using me for His purpose. And then, so since then, that I am really uh, have a great joy because I know that I came to know that God is using me for this Gideon ministry. さて、先ほども申しましたように、どうぞこのギデオンによって贈呈される聖書が神様の御業によって人々を救いの道へと導かれるようにお祈りをいただきたいと思います。So that I would like for you a prayer uh, uh, to pray for that through the these Gideon Bibles and uh, God, uh, the people will be able to uh, Come to know Him and by God's uh, great deed. And then I also ask you to help us out so that we can print more Bibles to give out so that we'll ask your donation and offering toward that uh, Bible printing. どうぞ。今日私は一人で初めてここに来ました。And today that you noticed that I came here alone for the first time. というのは静岡支部のメンバーが天に召されたり、山に倒れたりということで非常に創立以来最も少ない人数になっているからです。And uh, that's uh, the reason that is the reason why that I came here alone is these days, uh, the Shizuoka, Shizuoka branch the member has decreased some 
uh, going back to heaven. Some are in uh, fighting against the sickness. And then a various situation happened. And this is uh, the minimum, well, the, uh, I guess the least numbers, the members, uh, for the, I guess, uh, for a long time. で、この前、その病の中に、病院から退院して、リハビリの施設に入っておられる先輩のお見舞いに参ります。で、そうだ、リアルデイダー、ワンツー、シー、トゥー、チューアップ、ワンオドス、シニュー、ギリオンメンバーズ、で、ヒワス、He was in the hospital and get the treatment, and then the now that I,、uh, he, was, he was doing a rehabilitation. And so he's now they're practicing that he's trying to get up from the bed and off from the bed to the wheelchair. That's, how, I mean, that's the, what he's practicing doing. 病院にお見舞いに行った時よりもとても明るい表情でした。そうだ、だから、今、uh, so uh, so uh, もしましたら、いや、その後、がんは見つかったんだよ。And then、uh, he said, well, the, that's great、uh, if I look cheerful, but after that you came and then a、uh, doctor find a cancer in me. に二箇所にがんがあ後から見つかった。And then later on, the, the,、uh, they're finding two places, two different places of cancer in my body. にこやかに穏やかに語るこの先輩の表情は一体何なんだろうかと私は思いました。And then、uh, that makes me really wonder why in the world that he is so calm and he is very、uh, even a cheerful face to tell me that he has cancer. これが救いに導かれ、神によって与えられた平安なのかと初めて思い当たりました。そして、そのような思いに。導かれたギデオンの働きに改めて感謝をいたします。And then, so that, and then also that I'm also thankful for the Gideon's ministry because、uh, I, if I'm not working for this the group, then I probably did not come to a realization of all those things. そのような喜びをもたらしてく、神様がもたらしてくださる。このギデオンの働きにどうぞ皆様方の中から一人でも多く参加をいただけたらと思います。And then I'm really hoping that and then praying that if one of you or the many of you that will be able to join us that because that working for this ministry has received that we have received a really great joy and great peace and so that if you can、uh, if you consider that joining us and that will be very very Great, and then we appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening. Amen. Turn this off, and if I need it, we'll come back to it. Amen. Let's pray. Amen. Lord, we just bless the Gideons and their work in Japan and in the world. Lord, we pray that you would bless every Bible that they give away. 
Lord, we pray that people would open those Bibles and read them. And Lord, we just pray that you would bless the reading of your word today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have been in Matthew chapter 13. We've been talking about the parables of the kingdom. Okay, Jesus is, he tells seven parables trying to help us to understand what the kingdom of heaven is like or the kingdom of God. Now, he's trying to explain something to people that they really don't understand. And any time you do that, you have to give more than just one example. Okay, uh, we have people from many different countries here. Okay, if I tell uh, Pitya, explain South Sudan to me. Okay, well first he's got to think about, okay, who is he talking to? Pitya has to think about who is he talking to. Okay, I'm an American. But I've lived in Japan a long time. So, so he's got to think about ways to explain his country that I ways to explain so that I can understand. Uh, that's not easy. So I've been been back to America before, and people would say, "Tell me about Japan." Well, that's a very big question. <coughs> you know, I've I've got to think about okay, how can I explain Japan? To people. So Jesus is trying to explain the kingdom of God. So he, he uses seven different parables. Okay, the first parable we're going to review a little bit on the first two. And then we'll get into three and four today. Okay, the first parable is called the parable of the sower. A man is going out scattering seeds. Okay, and he talks about the seeds are the words of the kingdom. Okay, he said that the soil, this is the heart of man. And he, and he says there, there are four different kinds of soil. Okay, these represent four different kinds of hearts. Okay, one is the very hard heart. 
Okay, he says the evil one comes and snatches that seed away. Okay, the second type is very rocky ground. Okay, and so there, there's no ability for the seed to grow and put roots down. Okay, so any, any production there is very temporary. Just, it springs up, but then it dies quickly. Okay. okay, the third, third soil, there's thorns everywhere. The third ground. Yeah, there are thorny, it's the thorny ground, yeah. Okay, and Jesus explains. He said, This is the cares of the world. Or pleasures. When the word, when the word begins to take hold, the, these thorns choke it out. Okay, and the, but there is good soil. One out of four. One out of four is good ground. That means the word is able to go in and begin to grow, put down roots. And it's going to produce fruit. Okay, but the words of the kingdom are scattered. They're sown everywhere. The, the words of the kingdom, that seed is scattered. It's thrown everywhere. Okay, when the Gideons give out Bibles, they give them to anyone that wants one. Okay, everyone has an opportunity. Okay, the second parable. This is the, the wheat and the tares. Okay, Jesus said, in this case, he is the one sowing the seed. The field is the world. And he says it's his field. Okay, so the world belongs to him. But now he changes the symbolism of the seed here. He says we have good seed and bad seed. He said the good seed are the sons of the kingdom. Okay, he said he has sown good seed into the world. He said, but an enemy, who is the devil here, his enemy is the devil, the devil comes and sows bad seed. Okay, it says, he says, those are the sons of the devil. He says, and they're both going to grow together. Until the end of the age. He said, God said, Jesus said, then he will send in the angels to separate. Okay, so, so the tares will be gathered up and burned. 
the tares will be gathered up and burned. Okay, now let's go to parable 3 and 4. Let's just read them together, 3 and 4. Start with Matthew 13:31. はい。And this is smaller than all other seeds, but when it is full grown, it is larger than the garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and nest in its branches. And he spoke another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three pecks of meal until it was all leavened. 33節イエスはまた別の例えを話された。天の御国はパンダネのようなものです。女がパンダネを取って、三砂糖の粉の中に入れると、全体が膨らんできます。Okay, let's talk about the mustard seed for a minute. じゃあ、まず、えー、とからしダネについてちょっと話をしたいと思います。Okay,、uh, the basic interpretation of this parable. Is that the kingdom of heaven begins very, very small, just like that little tiny mustard seed? Okay, the church began in Jerusalem. The church began in Jerusalem with a group of Jews and people, proselytes, people who had become Jewish. <laughs> And the Roman Empire tried to destroy this new religion. Uh, there's a movie that just came out this year. About Paul, the Apostle Paul. And、uh, basically, it's about Luke and Paul. Okay, the man who played Jesus in the Passion plays Luke in this movie. Same actor. Yeah, he played Jesus in, in The Passion. Now he's playing Luke in the next movie.、So. <laughs> But it's, it's set at the time of Nero, Emperor Nero. Yeah. Okay, and it really shows how much the Romans hated the Christians. And they were, how they were trying to kill them as much as possible. Okay, this is about 30 years after Christ went back to heaven. <laughs> so, people really thought, wow, this is going to be wiped out. The church is going to be completely destroyed. <laughs> But it didn't. It grew and it grew. Until about 313 AD. Emperor Constantine, the Roman Emperor Constantine, he passed a law that said Christianity is no longer illegal. 
でその330年紀元後330年何が起こったかと言いますと,、えー、とローマ皇帝でコンスタンティヌス帝人という人たち人が、えー、登場するんですけれども彼が、えー、とある直令を発しまして、えー、ある法律を通したんですけれどもそれはもうクリスチャンキリスト教というのは違法ではないよっていうのを<笑>えー、そしてその後300、紀元後380年までには380年になった頃には、えー、とローマ帝国で、えー、とキリスト教が国教国キリス、えー、とローマ帝国の国教ですね、国の宗教というふうに認められるまでになりました。Okay, today Christianity is the largest religion in the world. 今日ではキリスト教というのは世界で一番大きなあの人数の多い、えー、宗教となっています。世界の全、えー、人口の約 31% ぐらいが、えー、クリスチャンだと言われています。So it started from a very, very small seed and it has grown tremendously. でここで、えー、とその今ここまで大きくなった、えー、キリスト教ですけども、一番最初は本当に小さな小さな。種のようなあの人々の集まりからスタートしました。Okay, Matthew 24, 14, Jesus said something. えーと、マタイによる福音書の24章42節で、Okay, he's, he's talking about his return.24,14、えー、イ,イ,イエス様が戻られることについて、イエス様が語られているところがあります。マタイによる福音書24章の42節になります。Okay, 24:14. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world for a witness to all the nations, and then the end shall come. 24:14. <laughs> okay, so the gospel would be preached in all the world. Okay,、uh, Lauren Cunningham, the founder of Youth with a Mission. Okay, we, we, we had the pleasure of him coming here to Shizuoka a few years ago. Actually, the year 2000, I remember, 2000. Okay, very. What I remember is he was a very big man, tall, big in every way. And、uh, made me look small. <laughs> And we put him in a hotel in Shizuoka that was much smaller than him. <laughs> his, hotel, his hotel room, yes. <laughs> I remember in order for him to get to his bed, he had to walk sideways between the wall and the bed. So, anyway. Okay. Anyway, he made it his goal to preach the gospel in every country in the world. Okay, by 2009, that's nine years after he was here with us. He completed that mission. He had preached the, the gospel in, in, in every independent nation. He had preached the gospel in every nation. By 2009, yeah. And he'd been to over 150 islands and territories. Okay, I think he's in his 80s now. But it was his goal for him and Youth with a Mission to reach every nation. Okay, 
So we see that the kingdom of God is like that little mustard seed. It started out very tiny, but it has grown and grown and grown. Okay, now what about the birds? Okay, in the first parable, the birds are evil. Many times in the Bible, birds are used to symbolize the devil or demons or death. Okay, we're going to come back to the birds in a few minutes, okay? Okay, let's talk about the parable of the leaven. Okay, Jesus says the kingdom of heaven is like leaven. A woman puts a little leaven into a very large amount of flour. But it's going to affect all the flour. Now, our basic interpretation of this Okay, leaven in anything is going to spread, it's going to affect everything. Okay, Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is like leaven. That means wherever the kingdom of God goes, it's going to have an effect. It is going to change the environment wherever it goes. I was listening to a pastor last night. He said, you should expect that every place you go is going to be changed because you went in there. He, he said, you, you have the same Holy Spirit in you that raised Jesus from the dead. He said, every place that you go should be changed because you and the Holy Spirit went in there. Okay, you cannot help but change the atmosphere when you go somewhere. You can't help it. You will change it. You cannot stop the change. There's no way to get away from the fact. You will change wherever you go. Okay, let's look at 1 Corinthians 5, 6 through 8. Okay, this point okay, talks about the effect of leaven. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 5, verse 6 says, Your boasting is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump of dough? あなた方の高慢は良くないことです。あなた方は本能わずかのパンダネが骨の粉の塊全体を膨らませることを知らないのですか。Okay, says clean out the old leaven that you may be a new lump, just as you are in fact unleavened. For Christ, our Passover, has also been sacrificed. 
新しい粉の塊のままで入れために古いパンダネを取り除きなさいあなた方はパンダネのないものだからです私たちの杉越の子羊キリストがすでにほふられたからです Let us therefore celebrate the feast not with old leaven nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth ですから私たちは古いパンダネを用いたり悪意と不正のパンダネを用いたりしないでパンダネが入らない、えー、純粋で真実なパンで祭りをしようではありませんか。Okay, now verse 6 tells us says, a little leaven leavens the whole lump of dough. 6節で言っているのはほんのわずかのパンダネが粉の,粉の塊全体を膨らませ全体に影響を与えますと書いてあります。Okay, so when you go into Any situation, you are going to change the atmosphere. Okay, now here's the problem we have with the symbolism of leaven. Okay, I don't know any place in the Bible where leaven is good. I don't know any place in the Bible where leaven is used as a good symbol. Okay, but Jesus is the one telling the parable. Jesus is the one telling it. Make, he made up the parable. And we know that he changed the symbolism of the birds. They were evil in one and good in the other. In good and good and bad. You did both good and bad. Okay, so I think Jesus is trying to explain something very difficult and he's using seven different parables to do it. Jesus is trying to explain the kingdom of God. It's difficult to understand. Okay, we know the kingdom of heaven is good. Okay, when he says the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God, okay, we know that's his kingdom. So when he says the kingdom of heaven is like this, then that's good. Okay, okay so parable one, he says the kingdom of heaven is like a sower sowing good seed. Okay, second kingdom, he said, the kingdom of heaven is like a man sowing good seed in his field. Okay, should be over here. Here, yeah. Yeah. Number two. The kingdom is like a man sowing good seed into the world. Okay, three. three, the kingdom is like a mustard seed. Okay, number four, the kingdom is like leaven hidden in flour. Okay, 
Number five, the kingdom is like a treasure hidden in a field. Okay, number six, the kingdom is like a pearl of great value. And then seven, the kingdom is like a dragnet cast into the sea. Okay, so in all those cases, the kingdom is good and those things are good. Okay, but we also see things from the outside coming into the kingdom. Okay, in the first parable, the birds come. They represent the devil. They come and snatch away, eat up the seed. Okay, in the second parable, the son of man sows good seeds, but the devil sows bad seeds. Okay, so you have both good and bad. In the same field. Okay. Number three, you've got that mustard seed that becomes a big tree. And the birds come in and rest in the tree. I'd say you have good and bad birds in the tree. Okay, some people say that when the Roman Empire made Christianity the official religion, that was wonderful. Other people say that's the worst thing that ever happened. Because, because suddenly it became popular to say you're a Christian. It became popular in the Roman Empire. Oh, I'm a Christian. Okay, when the British Empire, when the, when the UK took over India, when the British took over India, Okay, they came in and they said, we have jobs for Christians. We have good jobs with the government, but they're for Indian Christians. If you're Indian Hindu, no. So suddenly we had a lot of people that needed a job said, Oh, I'm a Christian. 
Oh, that's a good <laughs> I'm hungry. I need money. Oh, yeah, I'll be a Christian. And over 200 years, we had a caste of people called Christian. A caste, okay? We had untouchables, the untouchable people. You had the highest people. And then somewhere in there, you had people that said they were Christian. A caste is a division in, in the.、Uh, And so I've tried ministering to some of those people. <laughs> And I said, you know, when did you become a Christian? And they said, oh, I was born a Christian. Uh, my great grandfather was a Christian, my grandfather was a Christian, my father was a Christian, I was born a Christian. You know, and so you talk to them about what, you know, you become a Christian by believing in Jesus Christ. I said, You must be born again. They said, Why? I was born a Christian to begin with. See, see, probably their great grandfather became a Christian because he needed a job. Okay, had nothing to do with believing in Jesus. Okay, I believe in money. Okay, if you have to be a Christian to get money, okay, I'm a Christian. See, I think in that amazing big tree, we have all kinds of birds, both good and bad. Okay, when you get to that parable about the dragnet, the last parable. Which we will next week. <laughs> okay. okay. The kingdom of heaven catches both good and bad fish. Okay. At the end, they're separated. You know, I, I've heard people say, well, you know,、uh, I'm a Christian, I go to church. Well, going to church, sitting in this building does not make you a Christian. Okay, you can go sit in my garage at home, and that doesn't make you a car. So, although in America these days that would probably be legal, I'm a car. How do you know your car? I sit in a garage. Okay. okay, so if you feel like a car, we have to say, oh, he's a car. Okay. That, that, don't go to America right now. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of how we've moved. Okay, go, Mindy.、Uh, okay, but it's important that you know that you're born again. Okay, one of the most important questions Jesus ever asked his disciples. 
は弟子たちに質問いくつかいろいろ質問してますけれども、その中で一番大事な質問は、He asked his disciples, he said, Who do people say that I am? で、人々は私のことを誰だと言っていますかって質問をイエス様は弟子たちにして。And they said, Oh, some people say you're Elijah. Some people say you're John the Baptist, raised from the dead. And then Jesus asked them the most important question. He said, But who do you say that I am? See, we have to know who Jesus is to us. Okay? Peter said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Okay? Jesus said, You only got that by revelation. See, each one of us has to have that revelation. Who Jesus is. Let's just look at the,、uh, something that、uh, Paul said to the elders from Ephesus. Acts, Acts chapter 20. Okay, Paul knows that he's probably never going to see these people again. And so he calls together the elders of the church in Ephesus and he's giving them his final advice. Okay, he says, I know I'm probably, you're never, probably never going to see my face again. He said, But this is what I want you to do. Says, be on guard for yourselves and for all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to shepherd the church of God which he purchased with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. And from among your own selves, men will arise speaking perverse things to draw away the disciples after them. He says, Therefore, be on the alert, remembering that night and day for a period of three years I did not cease to admonish each one with tears. Okay, he said, You've got to be on your guard. You've got to be watching carefully. Okay, Jesus said, You're in the world, and there are sons of the kingdom, and there are sons of the devil. You're all in the world together. Okay,、uh, we, we say if, if the devil can't defeat the church from outside, then he comes inside. Okay, so he works against us from the outside, but he also works against us from the inside.
Okay, this church is 30 years old. Uh, we've had people come in from the outside and cause all kinds of trouble. Okay, every church I've worked with in the world, same problem. Okay, the leadership. Actually, all of us have a responsibility to pay attention, to watch. Many times my wife has come to me and said, You've got to do something about that person. I remember so many times I said, What are you talking about? She said, There's something wrong with that person. I said, Sarah, what? She says, I don't know. There's just something not right. Okay. Now I say, and I remember I, we've had this discussion a lot in 45 years. We've been married almost 45 years. I remember one particular person in America, she said, You've got to do something about this man. And I said, What? I said, he quotes the Bible. He knows the Bible. Every outward appearance, he's a good man. She, she said, well, there's something not right. Okay, I finally learned that, that when my wife says that, that's like God waving a red flag. Pay attention, Ricky, pay attention. Okay. Every time she's had that strong feeling, it turned out this person really, really caused a lot of trouble. Okay, we are given the Holy Spirit to help us discern good and evil. Okay, but Hebrews 5.14 Okay, it says that discernment, we, we train our senses to discern good and evil. Uh, Amplified says through practice, we train our senses. It takes practice to discern good and evil. Okay. Now, if you just go through life thinking, Everybody's good. Everybody is wonderful. You got a problem. You can't go through life thinking everybody's good. You cannot think everyone is good. You cannot do that. Okay, but you also don't need to go through life thinking everybody's evil. 
ですけども逆にじゃあ全ては悪だよね全ての人って悪い人だよねっていうふうに考えることもできないと思います。Okay. Okay. Those are both extremes. You will be deceived. ですからどちらの全てが悪い、全てがいいっていう考えのどちらの病気なんでそれはどちらに偏っても騙されている、欺かれている状態があると言えると思います。Okay, we have to ask God, show me, help me discern, help me know who is good and who is evil. Okay,、uh, the, the Lord's Prayer says, Deliver us from evil. Or could be translated the evil one. Deliver us from, keep us from the evil one. Well, the evil one's got his sons growing right beside us. Paul told the elders from Ephesus, Watch out! Pay attention! Okay, anytime God is doing something good, people will come and want to be a part of that. Okay, when Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt, they didn't go alone. There were a group of Egyptians that joined them and went with them. And caused them much, much trouble later. Okay, you've got a nice big mustard tree seed. The good birds come, but the bad birds come too. Okay, in Japan, we have good birds and bad, bad black birds <laughs> around my house. Some very aggressive birds. I mean, you can cover up the garbage with a net, but they'll just pull the net away. It's amazing. Okay, so if you think all birds are cute, come to my neighborhood、uh, on, on Monday and Thursday. That's garbage day. So. <laughs> so I've seen the bird chase a cat. They want the cat, they're not going to share with the cat. So. <laughs> so. I thought the cat was bad, but the cat's afraid of the bird. So. Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you have told us what to be careful about. Lord, we need to be loving. We need to accept people.
But we also need to be wise in our relationships. Lord, we, we need that wisdom that comes from the Holy Spirit. And we thank you. You said if anybody needs wisdom, let them ask. Because you give freely. And as we take communion today, we thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done for us. We bless this cup that represents your blood that was poured out for us. And we bless this bread that represents your body that was broken for us. And as we come to take, we draw near to you, God, and we ask you, draw near to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We welcome you to come and take communion. Amen. If you need special prayer, we'll be glad to pray for you. Amen.